Hi guys, it's Monday again and um, it is time for me to do experiments with you again. I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm working on this barrel coffee mug that came from Pressing Images. I have spray painted it with Rust-Oleum 2 times Satin um, Espresso so that it's brown. You could make a hot chocolate cup out of that, not a problem, but that's not what I'm doing. Um, we're going to play with some inks again and I'm just going to throw some epoxy on here that I've already mixed up and it's going to be kind of like the galaxy cup in methodology. And when you do these you need to make sure you coat the handle all the way around and watch for pooling where the handle connects to the cup but yeah, otherwise it is exactly like epoxying any other cup and you just have to watch for pooling and in, in and around and just make sure you're fully covered but you could definitely make drips on this paint and make it look like hot chocolate this color. I'm just making sure I have good coverage everywhere. It's not a flood coat. I'm not covering glitter. I want there to be the ability to have some movement without massive movement. So I'm just covering this whole thing. with a thinnish layer of epoxy. I still have quite a bit left and I'm going to do something with that off camera if I still have time to work with it when I'm done here. Okay, so now I'm going to take this glove off because it's just a mess and it's going to be in my way. Now I'm going to torch, don't mind my beat up looking propane bottle here. Torch this to make sure I have no bubbles. And it helps to even the epoxy a little bit. And I'm going to torch this one too, just because I just put it on. Here's what we're going to do. I have a bunch of various browns and in alcohol inks and a creamy color. Um, and so we're going to do that like we did the the um, Galaxy Cup that I did. And we're going to um, just go from there. So this is caramel. I'm just going to drip it in. in various places. Don't know that I want to get the handle really, but this is, well, no, that wasn't caramel, that was latte. This is caramel. And a little bit of ginger. I know it doesn't show up very much right now. I just want some depth. And so this is a Copic um, refill. This is the old style. Uh, the new style is smaller. Um, this one is called Raw Silk. It's, um, where am I here? It's a creamy color. 
So I'm, I'm trying to get kind of a coffee and cream and it's a lot drippier than the Tim Holtz because it's got a bigger lid here. Okay, I don't have anything down at the bottom down here. You find with alcohol inks and epoxy that they, they tolerate each other to a certain degree and then they stop. And when that happens, everything will fish eye on you when you add heat to it. And that's okay because we've painted the base brown. So because of that, um, anything that fish eyes will show up as brown. As you can see, it's pulling away in places. I'm just gonna throw some white in here to get some mixing and some such happening so you can see what's gonna happen here with all of these brown colors. And I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to apply a little bit of heat with my heat gun. My biggest problem with my heat gun is actually touching it to my epoxy. I do that all the time. Got it warmed up and moving a little bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off, take this out, and just stand it on its head for a minute. A little bit of dripping's okay. I'm just trying to get it to move more vertically. You don't want to take a torch when you drip alcohol ink like this to alcohol ink because you're going to light your cup on fire. You don't want to do that necessarily. I'm just trying to get some vertical movement going here. So I'm going to do a few white drips just going down from the top there's some more heat on there Throw a little bit more of this uh, raw silk in here just to give it a bit of a creamy color.
So there we have kind of a coffee cream kind of look. I wouldn't have put the latte in there because latte tends to go a little green and epoxy, but it's looking pretty awesome. So I'm going to get that back on there and spinning. And in about 10 minutes or so, I'm going to reverse direction and so that the, the spin can um, take on a mind of its own and um, and then see any, anywhere that I've got like a bare spot, it's just going to be brown. So the next coat of epoxy I put over top of it is going to smooth it all out and that's all awesome. So that is um, my experiment for today. So... I will work on this and um, show you what it looks like when, when it's all dry.